This time the quick speed shop, I'm mucking around down in the pole barn. I'm going to place this awesome workbench that I've had stashed away. We're going to go on an adventure, pick up a, an antique uh, cement mixer, and we're going to do some other stuff here in the new shop. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Actually, so I, I guess I should explain myself what I'm doing here trying to put some tools and uh, workbench down in here. I was just going to use this building strictly for storage. Um, you can hear it's pretty windy out and, uh, and raining out here. I was going to use this building strictly for storage um, because I had it pretty much filled up with cars and, and junk, but I think I'm going to build a, a 21 by 21 shop. It'll be like a two car shop. Um, behind me there's going to be a lift, a two post lift eventually. I'm going to wall off 21 feet by 21 feet with a 10 foot door over here. This will be the working side of the shop. And I'm going to work down in here spring, summer and fall when I can get in here and not be uh, landlocked by snow in the winter time. And then in the winter I can stash everything in here, store some cars in here, store a car up on the lift, store another car under that and uh, get all my storage back for winter time and work up in my uh, my existing shop, which you guys have been seeing in the videos with the heater. Eventually I'll have heat down in here, but that's probably going to be like a year off. I've got to put the whole ceiling in by insulation. That's going to be expensive, and I eventually I'll probably put another hot dog heater in here and keep this building uh, temperate because the walls are super insulated and the ceiling will be super insulated eventually. But I'm out of cash. i got to do a little bit at a time and see what I can do. So I'm here at work. i got AutoCAD open, and I've gone ahead and I've drawn the uh, pole barn here. And what I want to do is I want to put a new shop in here, right here, bam. It's going to be 21 by 21, and the building is uh, 32 wide by 40 long. I've gone, I got my 10 foot door on one side, and I got my two 10 foot doors on the other side. So what I've done is I've, I want to put in a two post lift. It's probably going to be a low ceiling uh, height lift, which is symmetrical. So I've drawn one in here at an angle. And what I want to do, let's see if I can do this. Uh, here, what I want to do, hold on a second, is be able to take a car, drive in this door, right, and come over here and put a car up on the lift. Bam, like that. And I still want to have room to put a, another car when the car's up in the air. I want to be able to drive into the shop there, so I uh, get out of there. So you can envision this car's up in the air here, and then this car is driven into the uh, shop area. Or if there's no car in the lift, I'll be able to work around this car. You know, the lift post, post will kind of be in the corner here, but I'll still have plenty of room to walk around, and I can pull ahead or pull back, depending on what I want to do. I've also added a uh, door in this wall here, because when I store cars in here for the winter, I need to be able to drive in and store these cars so I can get most of them through these doors here but it's nice to be able to drive through if I want to park here if it's in the summertime I just want to park one car in the middle I want to have access to the center part so I put a door here and I've also uh, walled it off here where there's gonna be a car in uh, long-term storage back in here this is only eight feet wide and there's gonna be rafters here in like a seven foot high or seven and a half foot high ceiling. There's gonna be storage all above this area, 21 feet of storage, eight feet deep, and probably about four and a half, five feet tall that will be framed in over this this area. So I'll have some uh, good storage up there. But right now you can see I got seven cars in here, and I, these are just rough estimates. These are kind of long for, most of the cars I have are pretty short, like Model A Fords, but I made it like five and a half by 15 which is pretty uh, decent sized normal car or like a, a late 30s early 40s car like some of the stuff I might put in here so you see I can get seven in here now just on the ground level and if I pick this car up and slide another car under it I can put eight in it and I currently have eight buildings or eight cars stored in the building uh, right now with with no wall in here so I don't lose any storage but I get to get a new shop that I can have a lift in and work on uh, a car in a drive through bay with a 10 foot door. So I think it'd be nice in spring, summer, and fall to be able to work in this shop here, have a clean shop with little clutter in it that I can work on projects all, all during a nice weather, be kind of secluded in the backyard for filming and all that, and then 
in the winter time I can store cars away in here and go back up into the upper garage the current quick speed shop and work on uh, uh, projects up there for the winter when I have this all full for storage. So I'm going to show you how I got this thing down off the trailer and then I'm going to go off into a side trip. I'm picking up an antique cement mixer that another friend has downsized and then uh, I've always had my eyeball on this thing so I'm going to go pick it up today. Hopefully it's not raining and nasty like it is now. But I'm going to go pick it up and I'll show you what that's all about. So uh, stay tuned. We're here at my friend Bob's house. I bought this old uh, cement mixer. It's a uh, ONS. It was run by a, a hit and miss motor originally. So it's pretty old. It's got solid rubber tires on it. So uh, we're going to try to load it up on the trailer and take it back home and restore it. Restore it and uh, see what happens. So it's kind of windy out. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying and let's go ahead and get it loaded. I gotta hook the winch up. We're gonna have to. Huh? We gotta put it under the foot now. like that. We got all loaded up here. Also got a Ford, uh, looks like a 39 or 40 uh, torque tube rear end. It's got a bent wishbone but it's got some backing plates and some other pieces. Pick that up and then I got like a junk like torque tube, I'm going to say 39 to 40 Chevy rear end it looks like, which is all seized up in junk so that'll go to scrap. But got this Ford rear end for a couple of parts and uh, got a strap down so we're going to go back to the quick speed shop. Okay, I'm back working on the shop and uh, what I want to do tonight is I got this super awesome, really, really heavy duty workbench. I've been storing it for my buddy, buddy's barn for like eight, uh, six months or so. I got it back in the summer from another friend that's downsizing. And it's a super heavy duty butcher block uh, tabletop workbench with a really nice, uh, what is it, hollow, device from Erie, Pennsylvania. Super heavy duty, probably weighs like 300 or 400 pounds, the whole street match here. We barely got it strung up into my trailer, and now uh, I want to try to get it out by myself. And I'm going to use some uh, chain falls here. Hopefully, I won't pull the ceiling down, which I don't think I will, but I'm going to push the trailer over here and uh, hook up some chain falls to try to get this thing up on out of here, and then set it up over where I want to put it by the wall. And this is going to be my, uh, my uh, pole barn workbench. So. And I just happen to have a huge collection of chain falls because chain falls are awesome. They're old school technology. You pull on the chain, it goes up and down. This is like the quarter ton unit, the small guy, I think, which is 500 pounds. But anyways, I, if I see them at, at swap meets or whatever, I usually buy them. I don't pay more than $20. That's my rule. If I see it for 20, if I can get it for 20 bucks, I buy it. I've got like, uh, like five of them. I got one more somewhere else, but uh, old guys drag them out in buckets to swap meets and they put 20, 30, 40 dollars on them and I say I'll buy it for 20 and if I walk away and they start to say no, they always say yes because they're tired of lugging it around. So guess what, these things are awesome and for 20 bucks a piece you can't go wrong. There's a tip for the quick speed shop. So I got my uh, four wheel drive strap hooked up with this in. Let's see if I can uh, pick it.
There's your swing free. Should be able to walk the trailer right up from under it. and I'll screw, screw the feet right down to them so the wood floats here. And I think I want to run a couple of lag bolts through the back of the table into the plywood on the wall just to keep the sink from moving around and breathing on it so it can't pull away from the wall. I may put a little cleat on the wall, but for now I just get this set down here. And this vice is awesome, it's huge. It's going to be awesome for wrenching. Yeah, this is great. This thing is super beefy. Got some kind of bracket tree over here. I could hang a, uh, oh, you know what? Looks like they had hammers over here, hanging off here, probably. Put some hammers here. I got a, a lower shelf down under here to use. I got this huge vise. This thing is super, super nice. I and mean, it's a couple hundred dollar vise just by itself. This thing will work awesome. And uh, this will be a perfect workbench. It's not too big. I mean, it's big enough to use, but it's not so big that you fill it full of garbage. I can put some stuff back here under things. I can put some uh, shelf units up here on top of the thing. Move my signs around and uh, you know put some storage up here. But this thing is a super beefy, super heavy duty bench. It's it's butcher block, probably oak or maple or something. Probably maple under here. It's got this wooden cover. I'll probably leave this on it and get rid of this uh, this old task light. And see better days and get rid of this. But this will be awesome. Like I always say, don't trash it when you can stash it. My uh, friend was, was downsizing, selling their house. 
get rid of this. Nobody wanted it because it's heavy and old. I said, you know what? I can stash it somewhere for six months, so it's going to come in handy here. So that's what I did. Now I'm putting it to use. This is going to be one killer freaking workbench in the quick speed shop, uh, in the second quick speed shop down here in the pole barn. Bam, look at this. The first car on the new concretes, the 40 Mercury. I've had it outside uh, in the driveway for like two weeks now. And all the other cars are covered up with tarps out, out back. But um, it's going to be like maybe snow tomorrow, so I'm going to bring this in, get it inside so they get continually get rain and snow down. So it sits in here, it's in the first spot, just sitting here for now. Um, I'm going to be taking this up to the upper garage and working on it all winter down there, but for the meantime, it's the first car in. Technically, i got to wait like like two more days for a 21-day, uh, three-week cure on the concrete, but it, it's I'm sure it's set up good enough now where this is fine being in here. So it's pulled on in here, and let's go over here and look at the workbench. So what are we going to be working on next time? Well, look here, i got a whole box of surprises. Got electrical boxes, I got grounding straps, I got a 1500 feet of uh, 12 gauge THH to that. Got 1500 feet of 12 gauge THH and th wire. So we're going to be working on the wiring next time. I got a bunch of conduit, I got all my boxes, I got my outlet covers. Uh, we're going to be coming off the, the panel box over here, running up overhead, running a bunch of circuits to the far side, running circuits on this side. And, uh, Working on that, getting it all kicked out, get all lights mounted up permanently in here, and uh, pretty much get the get the electric buttoned up before I go put all the rest of the cars in here when it's getting too too hard to move the ladder around. So I'm gonna be working on that probably for another week or so, get that kicked out, and then get the cars in here for winter and pretty much shut this thing down until springtime and until I can get back and start building the shop down in here. But for now, it's uh, looking good. I'm really happy. The the metal's almost done. I just gotta. About six more panels to do around the outside wall, and that'll be done. All the metal will be done in here, and this thing will be ready to get on in the next phase of making this thing a functional shop. So, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for alerts, tell your friends, and we'll see you right back here at the Quick Speed Shop, working on pole barns, standing next to cool cars, whatever else I got going on here at the shop.